Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you how you can update pages inside of Notion using NA10. So, firstly, uh, I'm just going to open up my Notion page over here. Now, I have this database here uh, that just says YouTube example. Now, one of the things you will need to know is the difference between the database and pages. So. I can just click on this example here and you see it's a type database. I also have another one where it says book list and this one has the title page. And the reason why this matters is because if we search up Notion and if I just say update for example, now this one will say database page, uh, but you also have different categories here. So you have database and page. So those are the two earlier examples that I showed you. And database page are basically the pages that are within the database. So let's just say, for example, I want to create a new page within this database. So for example, I want to input a new row into this table. Well, what I can just go to is go to database page and I'm gonna click on create page and then I select the database, which is gonna be called YouTube example, and it should pop up here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a property, and basically these are the different fields in this table. So let's just say project name, uh, I don't know, let's just give it a meeting with uh, Mark, and I will just add another property and a signee. It can be whoever is working within that workspace. So I'll just give it to myself. Uh, next, what we could do is we can add a start date and let's just say, for example, I want to do it tomorrow. And I'm just going to make sure not to include the time, only just the day and the month. And finally, a status we want to give it as not started. So I'm just going to go ahead and click test step and it's executed. So now if we come back here, you will see meeting with Mark, assignee is myself, not started, and I just didn't fill out these other fields, but you can just keep on adding these down below. Now what we want to do is what about if we want to actually edit one of these existing fields here? So it's a little bit tricky, but I will show you how to do it. So firstly, what you have to do is again, database page, and you want to get many pages within a database. So I'm just gonna click on return all. So you see we have four items because we have four inputs here. And you can see meeting with the mark, this is the one that we had here, quarterly sales planning, and it'll be a bunch of other ones here. So in order to actually change one of these already existing fields, you need the ID of that record, which you can only get from searching the database. So let's just say I want to limit it to the first one. So I'm just gonna limit this one. And then I want to execute this. So I will just get the first one. So I want to edit this meeting here. Now, what I want to do is I will go to Notion and I will say update a database page. So now I'm gonna go by ID, which is gonna get this ID here. Then what I want to do is I want to add a property and I want to basically change the start date. Remember before it was the 31st of May. Now let's just say I want to change it to the 3rd of June. I'm gonna click OK. Then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna execute this workflow and it should, there you go, it succeeded. So now you can see it changed to the 3rd of June. So that is basically how you can edit fields in a database page. Now, there are other ways that you can edit stuff within Notion. It's a little bit tricky, but let's say for example, you're not working with a database. Let's say you are working with a page. Well, 
personally, let's just go over here so you can see this is a type page. So I can't actually ask it to edit text or input text, you know, just stuff like that. What it will rather do is it will create sub pages. So I will show you what that means, for example. Let's say, for example, you are an author and you want to create books. Well, uh, let's just open up another node here. And I will just say page. I want to create a page. Well, actually, first I need to search all the pages. So I'll just click return all. And actually, you will see that it will return not only just this page, but it will return any databases here. For uh, databases are within the category of pages, but not the other way around. So you can see we have the book list here, and we also have the meeting that we just did a second ago. So actually, one way to overcome this is we can just type in the search title here as book list. And if I click test step over here, you can see that this is the only one that pops up. So now that we have this, we actually need to get the ID, which is here. So I'm just gonna pin this here, and let's just go to Notion again. And I will just type in page, and I want to create a page. You only have three options, archive, create, or search pages, so you can't actually update pages. So next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click by ID. You're gonna drag this in here, and let's just say over here, I want to create a Harry Potter book, for example. Well, what happens when I run this? So I'm just gonna unpin this, and let's go and run this. Now you can see we have a new field in here called Harry Potter, but it's not text like I would say a, a book list like Harry Potter, for example. Uh, if I click it, it will open up a new page. Now the thing is that you can actually input text within this page, but you have to do that before you create the page. So if that sounds confusing, I'll show you in just one second. So I will just delete this here, and I will come back to this first page that we had. So now let's come back here. So we gave it a title and now I want to add text within it. Well, you can give it different headings. For example, I can just call it chapter one, for example. And then let's just say I want to add a paragraph. You're a wizard, Harry. Perfect. So now what happens if I run this? It'll take a second. See, now we have Harry Potter, chapter one, you're a wizard, Harry. All right, so hopefully that helps you out a little bit and answers any questions. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the comments, and I will see you in the next one.